So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your Discord look like this. So, yeah, it's just not what it's always going to be. You can change the background and customize most of the stuff. So, yeah, can you stay around for that. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. So this is what Discord normally looks like. I don't know about you, but if you ask me, I think that it's really boring. So let's spice things up. So first of all, go to this website and uh, the link is right here. It's going to be linked in the description, so you don't really have to type it out. And uh, yeah, so go ahead and just follow what I do. Now down here, you can see the installation. There's the auto installation and the manual one. But since the auto one doesn't work for me, I'm going to use the manual installation. Now this is this is what happens if I use the automatic insta installers. So this is going to be a little cut in the video, not part of the tutorials. I just want to make sure that you all know. So this is what happens if I use the auto installation and why I don't use it because it doesn't work for me. So uh, when I do that, um, it will get this error process, uh, this error message, and then if I try to open Discord. I, I just can't and it will just keep showing this error message over and over again. So if you have this also, all you have to do is uninstall Discord and reinstall it again. So yeah. So just click the installing and wait for it to download. It shouldn't take long because it's only a couple of kilobytes or megabytes, I don't know. I didn't check and I cannot see because it's too blurry on the preview. So <laughs> just go to, the down to, to where it downloads and make a new folder. And drag the zip file into there and extract the folder. Once you have done that, simply rename the folder to app. Once you have done that, go ahead and press uh, Windows R, which should open the run menu, and type in app data and press enter. That should open the file manager on app data. All you have to do is go to local and go to Discord. Now you will see the folder that is app, and then there's gonna be numbers behind it. There might be multiple of those, so just pick the one with the highest number. As you can see, mine is 309. There might be 308. Just pick the highest one. So go ahead and press on that. And then go ahead and go to resources. Once you've done that, you're going to see this uh, three files in the resource folder. All you have to do is make sure that there is no folder called app. If there is, just delete it. But uh, yeah, just right click delete. If there isn't, just drag it over. Now once you have dragged it over, you want to open the task manager which is control shift escape and find discord in there. Just make sure to end task and yeah, look for discord down in the background processes as well. Make sure it's not there. If it is, just end task. Once you have done that, go ahead and close the task manager and just open discord. When it, once the task open, you will get this which is... Uh, yeah, it's, it's what you get when you download the Better Discord app. So go ahead and press on your settings and down here, you will see something new which is the Bandage BD. Now you can actually put your theme here. So this is where we actually get to make our own theme. So what we're gonna do is we're going to have a base and we're just gonna edit from that. So first of all, go to this website. It will also be linked in the description. And here we see all of these templates that we can um, choose to be our base so that we can edit them now you can pick whichever you want really but for the purpose of this video I'm gonna be using the frosted glass v2.2 because that's the one that I'm gonna be using because it's a easily customizable and automatically update updating team so <laughs> yeah we're gonna be using that one you can use whatever you want but I'm gonna be using this one so go ahead and just left click it and you're going to be brought to this uh, page so yeah so you can have you can change the window and discord gap now there's really no point of doing this because it doesn't make the discord smaller so I don't see any point of doing that I'm just gonna leave it on full and you can also put in the window roundness now there's not really going to be any point with this one like the last one because this the discord window will actually still be square yeah, so it, it, there's no point, so I'm just going to leave it on full. Now, if you go to the next one, you can actually see the background images. Now, you can actually just pull a file from your computer to be the background. 
but if it's more than 500 kilobyte just go it, it doesn't work so I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and make an, uh, an imgur so just go to imgur.com slash upload and just upload the file that you're going to upload there once the picture is up what you want to do is you want to press that three dots and go to get share links now what you want to do is you want to get the BB code so yeah just go ahead and press that copy link button on the green one that's beside the BB code one now once you have done that go back to the site and go ahead and press it there just paste it there but make sure that remove the the IMG on the front and on the back and then press enter and then it will work so yeah for the pop out uh, model image is the image that's going to be as you can see right there it says like the user playing a game something like that that that's the one that's gonna be edited so again uh, if I'm gonna be using the same one so just remove the IMG from either side and there you go now you can also change the background image blur uh, but since I already put image blur on the outer part of this I'm only going to be putting a little bit of background image just so the text is more readable so the pop-out model blur I'm, I just put it uh, <laughs> I just put it a little bit up because you know it doesn't really matter it's just there now the serverless opacity which is the left side so yeah if you, if you want to make it so that you know it matches with the top of the of the window you can just make it go to zero and then you can also do that with the channel one but I won't be doing that obviously so I'm gonna put the server list back up around I want it to be darker than the channel one but not too dark so yeah you have the chat opacity as well and the members of members uh, list opacity so I'm gonna make that match with the server list wait no with the channel one okay <laughs> so now you also have the pop out opacity and the tint brightness now this one is really yeah I like to put just a little bit of tint just so that you know it actually has a theme color to it and not just some random colors in a picture so this is uh, where you can change the font so you can change the font to whatever you want in the Google font so there is going to be like a little link on there that so that you can find whichever uh, font you want so what you have to do is you just have to uh, copy the name and paste it in the site before but since the font that I want um, you can see when I search it up there's actually you see that circled R it, it, the serv the other site does not support the uh, the cir the R circle, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be using that. So I'm just gonna be using the font that is already there. So moving on to the next column, we have the colors, which you can change the tint color and so on. So to get the color codes, I uh, just search up RGB color picker in Chrome. And over here, you just get to pick whichever one you want and just copy that part and paste it there. Press enter and it should work. So I just did that with all the gradient one. I am pretty sure the gradient is to left to right. But I don't really know. So just pick whichever color you want. Copy this. And just paste it over there. So next up we have the scroll ball color now if I just pick uh, a light color I just pick this orange as you can see the scroll bar on the wait it's not visible I'll just make it lighter then uh -huh. now as you can see on the right side the scroll bar is actually orange so yeah that's the scroll ball color now I'm gonna change that later because I was stupid while recording this video so uh, yeah so other than that we also have the link color now the link color as you can see in the chat on the side as you can see the links are colored blue so that's what it normally is so I just left it blue I didn't change it or anything now for the next part we have the, the add-ons, now the radial status I personally like this because it makes it um, nice. So yeah I, I just turn it on and as you can see there's the green line around it meaning that that person is actually online. 
you can check you can change the avatar status and spacing i just changed the spacing the spacing so that it's actually there but uh, you know it, it's pretty thin it's pretty thin but it doesn't like stick so like it's there but it's not it's not that far away so yeah you can change the width of the circle as well and the after roundness now if you can also make it like a complete square i don't know why you would do that but yeah i'll just make it a rounded square because <laughs> that's better okay so you can change the the color of uh, what it will be if it's like if the person's online uh, idle or do not disturb so yeah just change it to what co whatever color you want and it should work so next up we have the server column so as you can see on the left side it makes it that it makes it horizontal I don't really like that so I just I have the horizontal server list however because it's it it's on top and it looks cleaner now I do hope that you can make it on the bottom but I don't see the option to so I just left it on top now obviously you can only do one at a time so yeah I just I just keep the horizontal server list so this is what the end product will look like so once you have done that just go back to the settings and as you can see on the left side it says settings and the name so what you have to do is you just have to give the team a name now it doesn't have to be anything it can just be a random name but yeah just give the team a name and then press the download button beside it now it should instantly download you a file so once you have done that go back to your discord and on the team page press that open team folder what's that gonna do is that's gonna open this folder which is a team folder so you just have to drag that file onto there and go back to your discord and it should be there just press that um, on and off switch and it should load everything there you go your new discord team is now here so if i just go to the server as you can see it's here and if i press the members list you can actually see um the <laughs> the status outline and everything so yeah it's it's really cool and it works so uh i hope that this wasn't too you know i was i hope this wasn't too confusing because well <laughs> Yeah, I tried I tried to make this simple, but I think I might have gone a little bit too fast. So uh, Yeah <laughs> Yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like So that you know more people can be helped by this video and Comment on like feedbacks or if you have any questions also leave that there and uh, yeah, if I'm gonna be making maybe sometimes uh, tutorial videos like this so subscribe man who you never know maybe you'll find one of my tutorials to be interesting as well just like that um, the animation video for m your desktop wallpaper that that one got really popular <laughs> so yeah click one of these videos or click the subscribe anyways I'll see you all in the next video bye